Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Keith. You're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, we're going to go over, in my experience, what are the four most common points of failure when it comes to the 10R80 transmission. Now, keep in mind, some of this stuff may not apply to the later model 10R80 transmissions. I think in 2023, uh, a lot of these parts that I'm going to show you have been updated. To start out with, uh, I've got right here this little monstrosity, which a lot of you are probably already familiar with. Uh, this is the clutch and planetary monstrosity, I like to call that. Um, and this is a little shell here that goes right over all of the gears and the, the clutches that, uh, for the most part, most of them that are in the transmission. So we're going to go ahead and remove this. This is our first most common point of failure. Uh, we like to call this the garbage can. And you'll see why it's a garbage can here in a minute. Um, but what happens is the F clutches which are these clutches right here that are on the CDF cylinder or hub, uh, they start to groove the splines inside of this uh, trash can or clutch and planetary cylinder, I believe is the proper name for this. Um, and what happens is it causes these F clutches to kind of get seized on the inside of that clutch and planetary cylinder there and it can cause a harsh shift or delayed shift. So that's our number one most common point of failure. And by the way, this isn't the most, it's just the number one spot. It doesn't mean that this is more common than all the other ones that I'm gonna mention in this video. This is just a common point of failure. And looking down inside of this clutch and planetary cylinder, you can see that those splines that the F clutches go into, you see how it's grooved right there? Those F clutches get stuck on those little grooves that are created by the F clutches there. And that's what causes that harsh or delayed shift. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and dig in a little bit further here. Let's remove this. Set that off to the side. Remove these as well here. All right, now we're gonna remove our CDF hub right here. And set that off to the side. All right, the next most common point of failure, and like I said, this is a no order here, um, is between the number two planetary carrier and the number one here, you have this bearing, and this bearing tends to fail on a lot of these, and it causes this to kind of collapse in on this area right here, and they start grinding on each other. Right in this area right here, you'll see a lot of grinding. Um, I don't have that problem with this one, of course, but uh, that's pretty common as well. All right, so our next common point of failure is our CDF hub right here. And I've got the number three uh, sun gear shaft already taken out of it. And I'm sure you see this right here, this Teflon seal, it's not supposed to be loose like that. It's supposed to be in these grooves, just like, just like these right here. It's actually supposed to be in this groove, excuse me. But it has come out because the bushing inside this CDF hub has moved back just a little bit and it was actually allowing fluid to flow in ways that's not supposed to flow and causing that Teflon seal to be dislodged. See that bushing right there? That passage is not supposed to be open. That little half moon or quarter moon opening right there is supposed to be covered up by this bushing. This bushing is supposed to be all the way up here at this ledge and it's not. It's migrated back. And this here is the fourth most common point of failure. This is the valve body, and uh, they, they have problems with the valves getting stuck inside there. Uh, we have had to replace quite a few of these. Pretty common problem. This is just in my experience. Uh, others may have different experiences. Uh, if so, you're welcome to share that below. All right, so that's it, guys. This is the four most common points of failure on the 10R80 in my experience. I certainly hope that this was a help for you. Uh, if it was, please give the video a like, and if you have any questions, comment down below. Also, if this video was especially helpful to you, consider becoming a member of my channel. It's $2 a month, and what you'll get with that are priority responses to comments. So I'll see a badge next to your name whenever you make a comment. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. However, I do still have my 9 to 5 job, so that will be within reason, but just as soon as possible, I will respond to your comment. Thanks again for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a good one.